Despite it being a hardly credible tale and a fantastic story by Washington Irving, the apparition of a ghost mounted on a horse in the middle of the woods has terrified many for centuries, especially travelers who traverse the roads of America at night. The legend of Sleepy Hollow was for the Dutch pioneers something daunting in what we know today as New York. The story of this frightening apparition that rides on a nightmare a mythological creature that resembles a horse ridden from hell has come to have its own versions in Central American countries like Mexico and Guatemala and even further south in places like Colombia and Venezuela. Truth is, this is one of the most famous North American tales around the world, particularly recalled around October and November during Halloween all Saints Day and Dia de los Muertos. Here is the legend of Sleepy Hollow, the Headless Horseman. Ichabod Crane is the main character of the story. A young school teacher, highly adept in all subjects, with a weakness for stories, tales, and legends. He was constantly reading this kind of literature, and months before, he had made a copy of the history of witchcraft in New England. So this tale entertained him, and he always pretended they didn't frighten him. At night, the townsfolk would invite him over for dinner, and during after-dinner talk, he'd enjoy listening to the accounts of the local paranormal events be it ghosts, goblins, haunted houses and fields, enchanted bridges and creeks, but there was one he found hard to believe, the Headless Horseman. This legend influenced the imagination of the locals for a long time, for this beheaded ghost was the king of the valleys of the area. Everyone who passed around the area would speed up the pace to avoid encountering him at nightfall. Many farmers claim to have seen him riding along the most distant roads in the cemetery that was next to a lonely and decrepit church far away from town. The local historians, those most worthy of appreciation, claimed this beheaded rider had been a soldier that served in Duke Hess Cavalry, a German man who rented his troops to the English. His head had been torn off clean by a cannonball in combat, and his body was put to rest and buried in that graveyard. Yet he would rise from his tomb and wander, blown away by the wind in the darkest nights, looking for his head. The school teacher had fallen head over heels in love with a town girl, Katrina von Tassel the daughter of the richest man from town. He was invited to a party one night. It was All Hallows' Eve, and the party guests were telling the story of the horsemen. As usual, the teacher wouldn't stop listening to what they said about how the rider would go at full speed, tirelessly chasing those who crossed his land, claiming their heads and vanishing them. One of them stated he had seen him carry his head, while another guest debunked this, saying it was a pumpkin that he'd thrown at those who ran away from him to take them off their horses and catch them. That night, right after leaving the party, Ichabod became the protagonist of the horror story he was so attracted to. The party guests had infected him with credulity, and while he pretended bravery, Deep inside, he was a coward. He left the party past midnight, and on his way home, Ichabod faced the headless horseman. He remembered the only way of escaping from it was to reach the bridge. Since the ghost stopped chasing his victims once they reached that point, Ichabod 
whipped his old horse so it would run faster as he attempted to flee from the rider. However, the rage-filled horseman launched his head towards Ichabod, tossing it off his horse and forcing him to bite the dust. The next morning, Ichabod's hat was found near the bridge next to a shattered pumpkin. Ichabod was never seen again in Sleepy Hollow, and the locals blamed the headless horseman. Several years later, an old farmer from the town had visited New York and claimed to have seen him walking the city streets. He assumed the teacher was so frightened that night that he decided to leave Sleepy Hollow for good. Sleepy Hollow's strength lies in being part of the U.S. original history, and the horseman is echo the old colonial violence threatened by a spectral return. Is this the true story of a ghostly apparition, or just a tale to teach a lesson to those too passionate about ghost stories? No one can say for sure. However, many who live in the town surrounding New York City say that you can hear the sound of horse hooves roaring through the fields and woods, joined by the sounds of chains and hellish laughter. They claim it comes from the ghost of Sleepy Hollow, eternally suffering, mounted on an infernal beast through the woods of New England. <laughs> Ha 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 ha.